Hi, my name is Luke Gross. I'm a realtor with Records Results Real Estate here in Southwest Florida. And one of the questions I ask, I, I frequently asked by buyers of mine is, you know, what should I look for in a realtor? Well, what you should really be looking for is a realtor who is knowledgeable about their market and knowledgeable about the type of real estate that they practice. You know, some realtors only represent buyers. Some realtors like to focus on, you know, sellers or listings. Um, and then some realtors like myself will specialize in other areas like seller financing and lease options and things of that nature that the typical real estate agent or real or realtor is not going to participate in. So depending on what it is that you're looking for as a buyer, specifically as a buyer, you know, um, you, you want to work with a, a realtor who has your best interests in mind and has a high understanding of what it is that you're looking for. So for me, you know, I do represent buyers. I do work with first time home buyers a lot. Um, so, you know, I have a pretty, pretty vast understanding of, of, you know, FHA guidelines and some of the things that a first time home buyer can expect when they go out to find their first home. Uh, also like working with the buyers that have troubled or challenged credit. They've had some issues in the past, whether it was a bankruptcy or a foreclosure or something like that. And I like to work with these buyers because I've been through some of these scenarios myself in the past. So I've gone through a lot of the process just on my own, just on my own with my own investments and my own uh, purchase of property. So I've been able to understand how the system works and I'm able to translate that into working with buyers just like yourselves. If you're, you know, find yourself in a position where, you know, you have had some issues in the past or if you're really just jumping into the market to buy your first home. Um, also, something to keep in mind, you know, when you're working with a realtor, if your realtor is not following up with you, you know, that's a bad sign. Um, you know, a realtor is compensated based on performance. And when he brings, you know, deals to the closing table, that's how a realtor earns his commission. And that's how a realtor makes a living in many cases. So, you know, if your realtor is not following up with you, that means they're probably not very motivated and they're likely incompetent in other areas. You have a lot of choices. There's a lot of realtors out there for you to work with. So, you know, if you have one that isn't following up with you uh, really in a timely manner, then it's really time to move on and find somebody else. But hopefully, you know, this is this has been helpful for you. You know, if you are in the market and you're looking to buy property or you're looking to sell property, I suggest you, know, you get some referrals from people who have worked with realtors in the past. Or you just simply go and start interviewing some, some people, asking some questions to see who's the best fit for you. Anyways, thanks for watching the video. I appreciate it. I'll have more frequently asked questions from buyers of mine um, and things that I'll be able to translate to you to help you in your next home buying uh, experience. Thank you very much.